Hi everybody, my name is uh, Fintan Murphy and my company is Damson Cloud. Uh, we've been a Google partner for over a decade. Uh, we were one of the first Google partners and we help organizations move over to Google Workspace. That's the primary one that we kind of focus on within the ecosystem of, of Google tools. Um, and yeah, we've, we've, we've been uh, around for, for quite a long time helping hundreds of companies uh, change the way they work. Yeah, I think the, the rebrand is is interesting um, and it comes at, at an interesting time where many of us are, are working from home um, and trying to adapt the, the way that we work. Uh, I think a key thing that Google is doing is lending its brand to its sort of primary productivity suite um, and, and, you know, putting Google in there and, and adding that sort of gravitas of, of, of the Google brand to, uh, to its productivity suite, which I think is good. And we, we've seen that with, with Microsoft uh, recently as well. They, they did something similar. Uh, and then there's the kind of piece around the workspace. So this idea of, of it not being an office, do you know what I mean? Of it's not an office productivity uh, tool or suite, it's um, a workspace and work is now happening everywhere and anywhere, you know, and I think that is a, a, a key differentiator um, that, that Google is trying to get across. <clears throat> and we've certainly seen with our own customers that the transition to working from home has certainly been um, easier for them than maybe some other companies that, that haven't uh, engaged or put in place those types of, of tools and solutions such as Google Workspace. So um, yeah, I think it's it's an interesting and exciting change that's, that's happened. Yeah, I think the integration piece, you know, other than the rebrand, that's really the, the the most interesting part of this, that Google are starting to create more links um, and more, you know, uh, tighter integration between the different set of tools. Um, and I think they don't necessarily, you know, see, see a future where the individual tools go away, but that we want to be able to access, you know, video conferencing or, and chat or these different areas where we collaborate and where we engage with our different teams and, and um, whether it's external or internal, different people within our organization. And um, we need to be able to access those from our, our email. Most of us work within our email and creating those connections between tools, I think just eases the way people can collaborate. And it's, it is often the collaboration tool, it's the chat or it's the video that they're, they're integrating more tightly. And I think that's interesting. That's certainly the starting point for them. I think the end point might, might be towards that one app to rule them all. Um, as I said, while, while still having the individual apps there, um, I think an interesting update that I saw that, that I don't think is, has uh, launched yet is the ability to say, open a Google Doc, like a, a doc or a slide or a sheet, and have that picture in picture where the video can be up in the top corner, but I can actually be looking at the document that I'm collaborating with someone on. I can see the edits that they're making and I can see them as well. And so I, I'm really excited to see where Google go in terms of, of 2021 with these types of tighter integrations and um, with the different tools. I think that's an interesting question because one thing Google has noted with partners and with customers is that they compete not just with Microsoft, not just with Microsoft Teams and, and you know, Microsoft Teams is Microsoft's most in, uh, innovative product that they've come out with uh, in recent years, but that Google also competes with products like uh, Zoom and Slack and these direct competitors whereas Microsoft tend to only compete with Google. They, they do compete with those individual apps to a certain extent, but people tend to get those to augment their Office 365 environments or Microsoft 365 environments. Um, and I think Google is a bit different in that they compete with Microsoft and they compete with these individual tools. And so I, I think that, that, that the integration, that, that sort of single application, so rather than me moving to a separate app that's my video, uh, conferencing solution or a separate app that's my chat app. Google trying to say, actually, you can have all of this within a single solution. And that's the game changer. And that's been the game changer for, for many Google customers. And, and it's Google trying to, you know, the rebrand is trying to, is trying to you know, really get that across. Um, and then there's the, the piece with the tiers as well, where they brought the tiers in line with, with Microsoft as well. I think a big change that Google has made with the tiers, um, if we're talking about that, which is the you know the different sort of versions of, of G Suite, uh, as it was before, there were there were three versions of G Suite, and now with Google Workspace, there are actually six versions of them. They're not all all um, on the website. Google sort of 
just just mention Enterprise as a single one, but there's actually several versions of that, and they all align with a version of Microsoft. And so that makes comparing the different tools much, much easier for customers. So for new customers now, that you know, they, they can come to the Microsoft website, they can come to the Google website, and, and they can compare and contrast. And I think that makes it much easier for, for customers to make that decision. Um, and also there's much more choice because I think Google has recognized they, they launched a, a version of, of their tool actually before and um, before the, the sort of new announcements over the summer called it was called G Suite Essentials now Google Workspace Essentials and what the what the essentials is is essentially <laughs> no pun intended um, uh, the the Google apps without the mail and calendar and so what what that's also an acceptance from Google of saying there are customers out there that want to use Office 365 for their email and for their calendar but they want the collaborative capabilities of Google. They want to use Google Meet, they want to use Google Drive um, and the simplicity of that. And one of the biggest complaints from a lot of Office 365 customers is um, OneDrive and, and sort of, you know, Microsoft's collaboration capabilities. You know, so, so the idea of this other standalone app that they could bring in and that acceptance from Google that you don't have to buy into the whole suite. You, you can just take this particular piece of it. I think that is a huge change um, from Google and one that is, um, you know, appreciated and uh, by a lot of Google customers and by Google partners as well, like ourselves. For for companies, you know, looking at the at the Google space, it, it, you know, or looking at the collaborative space, it's obvious that Google really pushed the envelope um, in terms of collaborative uh, tools. And we've seen that, you know, with the Google Meet solution, the Google Meet solution six months ago when the pandemic hit did not align with tools like Zoom and it did not have breakout rooms and moderation control and things like that. It is now nearly feature for feature um, with, with, with tools like, like Zoom. And I think it shows that when necessary, Google can pull out all the stops and you know move their their tools forward in a very very short space of time, uh, and move with you know be willing to adapt with the times in a way that other organisations and um, competitors in the space maybe maybe don't. And I think when you're buying into Google, you're buying into the idea of the innovation of the company, not just the app and where it is right now, but where is it going to be. Um, and I think that's often the, the, with customers, we say it's about the journey and you're, you're buying into a collaboration journey. Do you know what I mean? And an innovation journey that, that this idea of continuous innovation gets built into your organization. Um, and that's, that's really the idea of Google and of Google's tools.